Under the topic on execution of portfolio decisions, there is a calculation on implementation shortfall. We will normally calculate this as the paper gain on the portfolio minus the actual gain on the portfolio. And of course in the exam, they can test you uh, on the calculation of the separate individual components. So of course under implementation shortfall, we can ha uh, will have commission and fees. Okay, there's also the realized profit and loss. Realized profit and loss. And then there is a delay cost. And then lastly, there is the missed trade. Opportunity cost. Now I'm going to show you three variations in this video. Okay, with uh, different scenarios and of course how we calculate uh, the implementation shortfall and how do we calculate each of these components. Now under scenario one, we have Jean who is analyzing several equities to add to the portfolio. So she finds a company XYZ that she believes is trading at an attractive valuation. Now in establishing the XYZ position, the sequence of the events is as follows. So on Monday, XYZ shares close at 28.50 euros. And then on Tuesday afternoon, Jean directs Scott, her dealer, to buy 10,000 shares of XYZ. And the decision price here is 29.60. Now, Scott did not manage to buy any shares on Tuesday, and XYZ's closing price on Tuesday is 30 euros. Then on Wednesday, Scott purchases 4,000 shares at 30 euros and 14 cents, and the trading fees total an additional 2 cents per, uh, 2 cents, uh, per share purchase. And Scott decides to cancel the buy order for the remaining 6,000 shares and records a cancellation price of 31.20. Now, of course, if you are just calculating the implementation shortfall, then what we'll do is we'll just calculate the paper gain. So your paper gain here will be equals to the number of shares that you plan to buy, which is 10,000 shares. Okay, then we multiply by the ending price, which is uh, 3120. Then we minus the uh, decision price, which is uh, 2960. Okay. So your paper gain here will be 960 times 10,000. So that's 16,000. Okay, so this is the paper gain on your portfolio but when you calculate the actual gain okay you will you only manage to buy 4000 shares and your gain here is based on the ending price 3120 minus the price that you bought it at which is 30.14 so your gain here will be 4240 Okay, and not, not to forget that you also have the commission that you have to pay, which is uh, based on 4,000 multiplied by 2 cents each. So there'll be $80 there. So in this case, your overall actual gain will be 4,160. So your implementation shortfall here will be the difference between the paper gain and the actual gain. So that's 16,000 minus 4,160. So that will be equals to 11,840. Now, of course, uh, if you want to express the implementation shortfall in basis points, you will have to divide by the initial paper value. So the initial paper value of your portfolio will be equals to the number of shares that you want to buy and multiplied by the decision price, which is 2960. So that will be equals to 296,000. So in this case, your implementation shortfall will be 11,840 divided by 296,000. Now, if I divide that, that would be 4%. That would be 400 basis points. Now, Next, we'll proceed to calculate the individual subcomponents. Now, on with the same scenario, now what we're going to do is I'm going to calculate each of the individual components, which is the commission and fees, the realized profit and loss, the delay cost, and the missed trade opportunity cost. Now, to make the computation easier, I always recommend that you draw out the timeline so you are clear with what uh, we are handling. So we have, uh, let's say on Monday, Okay, the shares closed at uh the shares will closed at twenty eight fifty. Okay, and then uh, on Tuesday, okay, so Jean puts in an order, 
so you put in a buy order buy order uh, for 10,000 shares okay at a price of 2960 this is your decision price okay and then uh, you didn't manage to buy anything on Tuesday so the price then closed okay close at 30 and then on Wednesday okay so on Wednesday you managed to buy uh, Scott managed to buy 4,000 shares okay at 30.14 and then after that they cancelled the order and then the closing price was 31.20 so first off if you're calculating the first component is the easiest to calculate which is uh, commission and fees so in this case our total commission and fees for the 4,000 shares that we buy is 2 cents each okay so when you calculate that's 4,000 multiplied by 2 cents So that will be 80 euros and then to calculate this in percent in basis points uh, we'll take 80 then we divide by the initial paper value which we calculated earlier as 296,000 okay so I divide by 296,000 so that will be equals to okay uh, this in decimal terms that will be 0 0.0002727 so to convert the basis points you just multiply by 10,000 okay so once you multiply by 10,000 here then in basis points this should be 2.703 basis points now next to calculate the realized PNL so in this case there will be a realized loss here so when you only managed to buy on Wednesday, okay, so there was a delay there, okay, so the price closed at 30 at the end of Tuesday and you only managed to buy at 30.14. So you can see that between the close of Tuesday up to the point that you buy on Wednesday, there was a realized loss of 14 cents, okay, you were late to buy it, so you, will, you missed out on that 14 cents. So the realized loss here will be the number of shares that you bought, 4,000 shares, Multiply by the price that you bought at and minus the day closing price for the previous day, which is 30. So in this case, your realized loss will be 560. Okay, it's 560 euros. And if I if I convert this, uh, divide this by the initial paper value. So that will be 18 point nine two basis points All right and then uh, next we move on to delay cost so for the delay cost we only need to calculate this if you did not manage to buy that uh, that number of shares in the first day that you put in your order so because we only managed to buy these 4,000 shares the next day we didn't buy it on the first day that we put in the order so there was a delay okay be a delay between the point that you put in the order at 2960 up to the point that it closed at $30 okay so between this point here there is a delay so the amount attributed here will be the number that you bought on the next day multiplied by the closing price on Tuesday minus the decision price so that's equals to six uh, one thousand six hundred dollars okay so that's how much uh, the delay cost and if you divide this by 296,000 okay so we take uh, 1,600 divided by 296,000 so that will be 54.05 basis points okay so and on to the last one which is the missed trade opportunity cost so this is the amount that you did not manage to buy which is the 6000 shares okay and you decide and you missed out the whole part from the point that you decided to buy up to the point that you cancel so that would be 6000 shares multiplied by 31.2 minus 29.6 that's how much you missed out on that, that trade so 31.2 minus 29.6 times 6000 so that that amount that you miss cost you nine thousand six hundred euros, and in basis points term, okay, that will be nine thousand six over two hundred and ninety six thousand. Then 
that'll be 334.32 basis points. So if I were to add up all these basis points here, let's see how much it adds up to. So I can take uh, 2.70 basis points, okay, plus 18.92, plus 54.05, plus 324.32, and let's sum it up. So 2.7 plus 18.92, plus 54.05, plus 324.32. So that's about 300, close to 399.99 basis points. If I round it up, okay, round to the closest one, it would be 400 basis points, okay? So this would be, so this would be exactly equals to the number that we calculated previously. So there you go. So this that's for the first scenario. Now after this, we're going to move to the next scenario and we're going to see what happens if we did buy the 4,000 shares on the very first day that we put in the order.